Greetings, Living Word. It's Pastor Dave, and we're on day 12 in our Build and Multiply devotion. Today's devotion was written by um, Willie Jans, and uh, he writes on John chapter 13, verse 5, the second part of verse 5, where it says, He poured water in a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet. The story of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Willie writes, Another shower day. And then he's got symbols like rasa, frasa, kind of, you know, frustrating symbols. I love taking showers for myself, but not giving showers to others. Although I consider my job as a CNA at the nursing home to be a ministry of gentle service, I was still grumbling under my breath that it was my turn for showers that morning. I wheeled Thelma into the extremely warm, steamy, and cramped shower room, adjusted the water so that it was just right, and began methodically washing her. Thelma, like 99% of our residents, did not like this process any more than me. I found that singing some of those familiar old hymns created a more calming, relaxed atmosphere for both of us. In the middle of a chorus of blessed assurance, we had progressed to washing our feet. Thelma expressed her gratitude. You are so kind. My surprised response. Thelma, you, you didn't have to say that. I'm, I'm just doing my job, she exclaimed. Well, it's the truth. And minutes later, I proceeded to my next shower with Lorraine, undergoing the same routine as I was singing in the garden and washing Lorraine's feet. She echoed the words, you are so kind. My response was not any better the second time around. Lorraine, you didn't have to say that. I'm just doing my job. Without missing a beat, she retorted, well, it's the truth. You may think that the two ladies had collaborated and conspired with that script to make my day. That is highly unlikely. Neither lady, neither lady in this dementia unit had spoken a coherent and complete sentence for weeks. When Jesus began washing the feet of the disciples, Peter vehemently protested. And Jesus gave Peter a, re, a, a reprimand resulting in Peter quickly changing his attitude. And when Jesus finished his job, he finished with these words of action for his disciples and for us today. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. You will be blessed if you do them. I feel my shower encounter was a gentle and encouraging reminder that maybe I need an attitude adjustment for those times when pride and other forms of sin get in the way of doing what God would have me do. What would God have you do? Let's pray. Lord, your life and death are a testament to the fact that serving isn't always easy. It can be hard. You call us to die to ourselves and to live a life of service. Help us each day to see the needs of others around us and serve them willingly and lovingly as you have shown us and called us to do. Amen. Have a great day.